Hey guys, what's up? This is David Andriotti, and uh, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do a Brooklyn Nine-Nine intro. I'll go ahead and show it to you. I've been making these to introduce the new members of Shootsa that they hire. I'll show it to you one more time. Inspired by Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So let's go ahead and start. Let's just dive right in. So here's our wonderful girl of Phoebe. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a freeze frame which is control click, time, freeze frame. Now that she's frozen, go ahead and scale her up. So I'm gonna press S for scale, scale her up, and get her in about the right position that we want for the freeze. So I think she's a little bit too big right now. No, <laughs> just kidding, Phoebe, I think you're the perfect size. You're perfect the way you are. <laughs> okay. I think about right there is pretty good. So let me compare to the other one real quick. Oh, maybe a little bigger. See, all right, that's about good. You, I usually position her on a third so you can have the rest of the screen for the text. So now that we have this, what we're gonna do is mask her out. So I'm gonna push G. You can also go up here and push the pin tool and go ahead and just start clicking away. So make sure you have this layer selected or you'll be making a shape layer. So hair is kind of tricky. You want to get the big clumps, but you don't have to worry about it that much because it's okay if it kind of blurs in. You'll see when we get the final product. You don't have to be too precise with this, but the, the more precise you are, the better. It'll benefit you later down the road instead of having to go back and mess with everything once you start adding on to it. Okay, so there we go. Now we have wonderful VV all by herself. So now what we're gonna do, take this layer and control D to duplicate. And then what we're gonna do is press M from the mask to bring up the, the mask layer. And then we're gonna invert it, okay? So now what we have is one layer is just Phoebe and one layer is the background. So make sure to put the background on bottom because that goes behind everything. I'll rename it for you, VG. And then Phoebe. Okay, so now we're, we're getting somewhere. So now what we want to do is go ahead and start adding the things that are going to animate in. So what we're going to do is I press Q to bring up the, the rectangle tool. Uh, make sure you don't have any other layers selected. And then we're going to make a big layer that covers the entire frame. So now we go below Phoebe. Now she's in front. So now you can see the edges of the mask here. So what we want to do, I'll go ahead and reduce this opacity to about 60%. Feel like it's pretty good, yeah. Maybe uh, 50. There we go. So see a little bit of the background, but your attention is all on her. So now what we're going to do, Phoebe's mask. And then, so this is take some toying. It's not a perfect um, rule of thumb that I use for every single one, but it really depends on how you draw the mask, what you want to do. So see you have um, the hard edges right there. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Uh, maybe feather it some more. It's not looking too good right now. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. So now we need to come down here also and mess with this mask as well. So, you know, go ahead and bring that in. You really want to just avoid some hard lines, anything that will jump out of the viewer, stuff like that you really don't want. So let me just keep going back and forth. I'm sure it'll work out eventually. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So it's okay to have a little bit overlap and stuff. I think that looks kind of cool. It makes it look kind of glowy. And then we have that all squared away. Let's go ahead and add our shapes. So, so now we're going to press Q again, which is once again our rectangle, uh, rectangle tool, which is up here. And then we're gonna make a long thing right here, okay? So this is gonna be the thing that flies in from the side. So what we wanna do is um, go ahead and flatten all these out so we don't get too complicated. So I can go ahead and name this. This is gonna be BG Blue. That's the blue shape in the background, right? Right, this thing. And then we got, the, uh, I'm gonna call this the blue bar. 
And I usually don't name these, but I'm just doing this so um, you don't get confused. You can name them whatever you want. Okay, so we always want Phoebe in front, because Phoebe is the most important thing. So I'm gonna make this a little bit curved. I usually do it about six degrees. Oh, other way. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Okay, maybe make it a little smaller. Once again, when, when you first make stuff, that's when you wanna change it and fiddle with it because it's harder to do it when you have more stuff attached to it. Okay, so now that we have this bar, go ahead and do Command T or also the T up here for text. So what I'm gonna do, it's already in my uh, proper size and stuff, Roboto Black, I have it white text. So what we're gonna do is do Meet Phoebe. Say, hey Phoebe. What I'm gonna do is make it a little bit bigger, bigger. We're also gonna rotate it negative six degrees. We'll put this on top of there. So this is gonna be the bigger thing because it's the most important, it has a name, right? So we have it right about there, a little smaller. Okay, a little bigger. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you know, try and center it as best you can, obviously. Oh, move it down a little bit. You kind of want it right on top of there, maybe a little bit above. Okay, now what we're going to do is do another text layer and do digital intern. Because that's what she is, though. Okay, make it a little smaller. And so we're not actually going to rotate this one because what we're going to do is parent it to this one, the blue bar. But we're going to wait to do that a little bit to make sure we have it in the right spot, about the right size. We're going to make this thing a little smaller before we do it. Move it up a little bit. All right. I think we're in business. So now. I'm gonna go ahead and parent this. Ooh, that didn't work out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, make it rotate then. Negative six. And you don't have to do negative six all the time, but just, you know, um, keep it consistent with all the text and the shape layer that you're using. Okay, move it down a little bit. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Let's compare our first one, make sure. Yeah, I made the, that one a little smaller, so I'll do that too. It's a little big right now. Okay. Okay, and the way I'm checking back at this composition, the one I've already made, you can do that with, um, you know, images or just a Brooklyn 99 intro. Go get a screenshot from that and work from that, because that's exactly how I made this. Because uh, good artists steal. <laughs> that's what Pablo Picasso said. Okay, but I'm happy with this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and parent it to, so I'm parenting the digital intern to the blue bar, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and do zero degrees. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now what we're going to do, is so now we need to do the fun stuff, we're going to animate it. Let's animate the blue bar first. So, right, like, because we parented the digital intern to the blue bar, if I move it back and forth, it, the digital intern goes with it. Oh, look what I did. I forgot to put Phoebe in front. So Phoebe's most important, so bring her to the front. Okay, so now, this is where, the, where it's gonna end, so we're gonna drag this down a little bit, at like one second, and then we're gonna take this and move it down. You wanna do it kind of in a straight line and make sure it's going at the angle that it's tilted and we also want to activate motion blur. So make sure to click this, highlight all the layers, click that, so now it's gonna be blurry when it moves. Cool, I'm okay with that. So we wanna make it a little faster. It needs to be a split second. You need to, as quick as can be. See, adds more motion blur, makes it look cool. I am with it, okay? So now we're gonna match all the keyframes that we make on these two. So let's do Meet Phoebe now. So Meet Phoebe is gonna be the only 3D layer that we do. And because um, it's gonna come from behind the camera and sit on the screen. So that's where we want it to end up. So move it down there. Line it up with this one, it is. 
and then we're gonna throw that thing back bring it on back here now all right okay that's pretty cool I honestly think it's still a little bit slow so I'm gonna speed up both of these a little bit there we go it needs to hit really hard and just go super quick and a little bit too quick Oh, also, um, we need to easy ease these. So if you don't know what easy ease is, so this is the graph right here, this button, graph editor. You see it's a straight line right now, right? Well, when you easy ease it, function F9 makes a Bezier curve, and it makes it a lot smoother and a lot more natural to watch. So we're almost done. What we need to do is a background layer. So this one's going to be easier. All we do is this that's where we want it to end up right uh meet pb where is that okay so we're going to drag it line up the keyframes yep and then drag this thing up all the way up there now all right highlight them both function f9 easy ease it's pretty cool so now what we're going to do, I should be just doing this. So you push in, and this is the, this now it'll loop. So we don't have to keep uh, pressing the space bar again. OK. So uh, last thing that we want to do, I really want VB to scale up. So I just add some slight movement to the piece. So I'm going to drag it all the way back here. Let's see. Let's just go. I usually make these things last about five, four or five seconds. So we'll take it to five, and just slowly and go ahead and scale her up just a little bit, just a little. So I'm going to take it, so we're going to add some slight movement as she's right here. I think it looks pretty cool. And there you go. There's your intro. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial. I really hope it taught you something. I hate when people do this in the beginning of the video because it wastes time. If you wanted any more subjects covered, just contact me by any means. Thanks for making it to the end, and I hope you like my After Effects hat.